Hey, this is your girl Miss Bolega Ma, aka Angel Barbie 1981, and um, I happened to get on YouTube earlier, and I saw this um this video where it was a Walmart employees that were in the back and they were like breaking up the iPads and stuff, and um, I think it was in the Walmart in Pikeville, Kentucky, or something like that. Guys, I'm telling y'all, people are losing their minds. I mean. The thing about it is, it's like, number one, I can, I'm going to be real with you. I can totally understand the frustrations with Walmart because um, a couple of years back, I think it was six years back, yeah, six years back, um, I worked with Walmart for two years and um, you're overworking, underpaid, you know, and it's like you can actually go hard in the paint, work, just sweat, um, sweat out your weave, and then when it comes time for evaluation, you get like a nickel raise. A nickel. Think about it. Five cents. Like, I can find it off the ground. Whatever. Anyway, these guys were like going crazy. I saw the video, and they're like, this is why you shouldn't buy an iPad at Walmart. I'm like, okay, guys, this is about to be some redneck stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm about to hit Google spell, I can't do it, I can't, I'm trying to bring it back down to earth, but I'm just sitting here like, oh my god, oh, I mean, when I seen the guy's face, before he even just said anything, I had a feeling this video was going to go left, but I can tell, I mean, like I said, I can understand being frustrated, overworked, and underpaid. But instead of breaking up the merchandise on camera where everybody can see me, and I can't, I can't deny that it's me because I'm holding the camera and I'm like, that's just what we do to iPads at Walmart. Now, don't quote me on that. But I believe that's what he said. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry. I was clowning with my friends earlier about that as well. And oh my god, it's, it's I can't, I, I can't, y'all. I can't, I cannot talk about this. I can't. <laughs> Wait a minute. You, I mean, look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You just had to hear my friends in our conversation in order to, to really understand why I'm just laughing like I'm crazy. But anyway... Um, I kind of feel like if they're that frustrated, then I think you should, like, find another job, like, fast. Because you don't want to be caught on camera breaking up the... For one thing, they already had cameras on you because there's cameras in the bag. Then, you know, so really, you really don't want to be caught on camera breaking up this stuff. And then, you know, <laughs> one of my white friends was like, that, that's just like some redness. Breaking up ish that they can't afford, and I'm thinking like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not even going there. Like, <laughs> I'm not even going there. But anyway, um, well, I think you should leave the job because I'm thinking, do you not understand? You can go to jail, and they can make you pay for this stuff. And they're like, we're gonna throw some stuff today. And I'm thinking like, these fools is really finna throw these iPads. And I'm thinking. I, if I was over in Pikeville, I would be the lucky person who bought this smashed up iPad. And they already know that nobody's going to believe that, um, like when you, okay, let's just say you got it as a Christmas present. And you open it up and you're like, oh, I'm excited about the iPad. I got it. Yay. And you open up it and it's like all smashed up and broke. Now, when you try to carry it back to Walmart, they are really not going to believe that, it actually came from that store smashed up. So that's going to be a problem with you getting a refund, you know. I don't understand these people. I don't understand these people. I mean, it's like, I understand that you want to quit, but just leave. Don't just be foolish enough to upload, to actually record a video, upload it <laughs> on the job, um, which a lot of cell, a lot of jobs uh, really don't like for you to have cell phones on the job anyway. But um, on the job, so, and you're actually filming, and then on top of that, you're not just filming it. Like you're taking your friends with you because you're turning the camera on them, and they're like, "We're gonna, we're, I think I'm just gonna smash it, boop, 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 smashing it." And one guy was, um, I think one guy threw it to another guy, and he purposely missed it. And I'm thinking, and then one guy was like, um, 
He just went through some boxes and stuff, and he's like, that's not an iPad, but this is. Oops. And just dropped it. Just, oops. And I'm thinking, like, you know what, guys? I can't even talk about this because it's late. But, um, I don't know what's wrong with people nowadays. <laughs> I just don't know what's wrong with people. So, I, obviously, this is what I think is going to happen. I think that the main guy that was filming it will probably get in trouble. But he's probably going to keep his job. But the people who actually have the enjoyment of, like, breaking up their products, they're probably going to lose their jobs. And then they're probably going to be fined for like the um the broken, uh, well the busted up iPads. Because I mean they slammed it down pretty hard. But you know, look, all else fails. Stay at the job, but be constantly looking for something else. And then if you want to, I mean, you know, because I kind of feel like they are very inconsiderate of the people who are spending a couple of hundred dollars on this product. Now, if they smash something that didn't cost much, I mean... Even though the company is losing a uh, profit, it's it's like whatever. Who cares? Um, but two or three hundred dollars. I mean, imagine the people at customer service that are gonna get cussed out because of it. I mean, and it's like there's no way around it. How could you do this? You know. And you know, but like I said, I can understand being a disgruntled employee at Walmart. But you know what I did? I left because. Um, you're not getting paid much and nickel raises, nickel and dime and 25 cent raises, are you freaking kidding me? I mean, and for me, I went to another job six years later and like, um, I think I ended up getting, I forgot how much my raise was. I think it was pretty, I don't want to say a hundred dollars. But I know it was somewhere around in there, you know, whenever my raise came. And that's a big step. So, I mean, you have to elevate yourself. You know, don't stay in the same rut. Don't even, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that because this bunch of people, when they have the last straw on the job, they either hurt you, uh, destroy the products if, if they're in a place that sells products, or they hurt themselves. So, I don't know. Just, got people are, people are stupid nowadays. Anyway, um... I'm sorry, but I just um I just wanted to kind of talk about that. But anyway, I'm rambling, so um it's like what two thirty, three o'clock in the morning on my end, so I am kind of sleepy. I had a long day, so uh this is your girl Miss Bully Ma, aka Angel Barbie, nineteen eighty one. Bye, angels.